Hey everybody, Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're gonna be doing, we are gonna be comparing numbers today. So what that means is, I'm gonna be looking at two, two digit numbers. And I have to decide by looking at each number, who is worth more versus who is worth less. More as in greater, less, which means it's smaller in value. Okay, so how are we gonna get started with this? So as you can see, I have two numbers here. I have the number 27, and then I have the number 54. So when we start, we wanna look at the place in each number that is worth the most. So if I'm looking at the number 27, the place that is worth the most is the tens place. And that number, that digit, is two. And notice how I also have the number 27 shown in place value blocks too. It just gives us that little added visual to kind of help us along. Then we have the number 54. So again, the same place will hold the biggest value is the tens place again. So now you're gonna see five tens blocks to show five tens, two tens blocks to show two. So now that both of those numbers are different, you can compare them because you can compare things, of course, that are different. So who would be greater versus who is less? Well, my eyes are gonna go to the greater one first. So if I'm looking, Who's greater, five or two? I hope you already know. <laughs> it's definitely five. But also when we're comparing numbers today, we are also putting a special symbol in the middle because that symbol helps us read this comparison correctly. So as you can see, I have some choices. I have greater than, I have less than, and then I have equal to. So sometimes when you're first beginning to compare numbers, sometimes I like to put a little story onto it, like my little alligator story. So my alligator wants to eat the bigger number. So remember, we said five was the bigger value. So, are you ready to see my alligator friend? Here he is. And notice how he has some words on there. Let me give him a little flip-flop here. So watch. This side says is greater than. So notice how he matches my greater than symbol. I flip him, is less than. So now he matches my less than symbol. So let's see. Where is this alligator going to open his mouth to? He wants the most fish. He wants the biggest amount. Remember what we said before. 54. So. Now we could read this, but you have to read it like you would left to right, like you were reading a sentence, left to right. So listen how I read it. 27 is less than 54, which makes sense because 27 is less. Two tens is less than five tens. Okay, ready for a new one? Here we go. So now I have the number 70 and 35. So again, I always wanna start looking at the number or the digit that has that greatest value. So since we're looking just at a two digit number, the one that will have always the greatest value is a tens place seven tens. 
There we have it. Versus three tenths. However, are they both different? Seven and three? Yeah, so we can compare them. So now, let's get my little alligator out. So let's see. Where do you think he would want to eat? Would he want 70 fish or 35 fish? Well, if he's hungry, where do you think his mouth is going to open to this time? I wonder if he said it already. <laughs> Definitely 70. So now, remember, we're going to read it from left to right. So here we go. 70 is greater than 35. How about that? All right. Get ready for a few more examples? Because here they come. Okay, we're back. So now I have 43 and 46. So remember, I always want to look at the digit or the number that has the greatest place. Remember in the last two examples, the tens place, of course, are going to be my greatest values. So let's take a look at them. Four tens and four tens. Uh, four tens, four tens. They're the same. And what should I do? Can I not compare them at all? We can't compare numbers that are the same. But there is something different. Can you see it? What's different in 43 versus 46? I wonder if you saw it already. It might not be the tens place, but it's the ones place. So we have three ones versus six ones. So that's the thing. If the place that you're beginning to compare is the same, go to the next place and see if they're different. And in this case, the ones place was different. Three versus six. So what are we gonna do now? We gotta put our symbol in. But maybe some of you out there might be thinking, I don't have an alligator at home. I don't have that little fancy magnet you got there. I'm going to show you a trick. It's called my dot trick. So what I do, I find the number that is going to be greater. And they're going to get two dots. So three versus six. I wonder if you said it. Six is definitely going to be greater. So watch. I'm going to put two dots there. Now, versus three, which is only one dot, because it's less. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to connect my dots. How about that? Now, does he look like my alligator? Let's see. Sure does. So let's read it. 43 is less than 46. Okay, so now let's do another example. So now we have 68 versus 64. So remember, Always start with your greatest value, your greatest place, which is the tens. Six tens, six tens. They're the same again. So, my mathematicians out there, what should we be doing? Where should we be looking? Where should we be going? Yep, the ones place again. So here we have eight ones versus 
four ones. So if I want to do that dot trick again, who's going to get the two dots? Who's more? Whose value is greater? Eight versus four. Hmm. <laughs> it's eight again. So here we go. He gets two dots. And then four. Only one. What should I do? Connect my dots. Here we go. So let's see. Will he look like my alligator? Let's see if he does. Oh, let me bring him up a little bit more. That's better. All right. Yep. All right, let's read it. 68 is greater than 64. All right, hold tight for one more example. Okay, my friends, and we're back. Let's take a look at our last one. So we have the numbers 81 versus 81. So like we did for all the others, let's start with my greatest value first. So we're going to be looking at the tens place. Eight tens. Those are eight tens. Eight tens. Yep, they're the same. So remember, what do we need to do? Let's go to our next place. Let's go to those ones. One, one. One, one. Oh boy. Well, both of these are exactly the same. Both digits. Eight tens, eight tens. One, 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 one. There's only one thing that that means. One symbol we didn't look at yet. When you have numbers in every place that are exactly the same, you know what that means. They are equal. Every place holds the same value. So my alligator won't be able to fit in here because he only wants to open his mouth to a number that's greater. Here, we don't have a number that is greater nor less. They're exactly the same. So there's one symbol that we could use though. The equal sign. So how I read this is 81 is equal to 81. Well, boys and girls, I hope you liked our little tutorial about comparing two digit numbers. As I always say, please practice at home. And until then, I'll talk to y'all again soon. Bye, everybody.